Well, Thanksgiving is a time to gather with your loved ones over tons of food, as we've seen with Cora throughout the course of the morning. <laughs> but with that feast comes some hidden dangers when it comes to your pet. Yeah, with more people around the house for the holiday, that could mean more hazards to look out for. Joining us live with some advice to make sure your fur babies stay healthy and happy is veterinarian Dr. Crystal Carey with Wellhaven Pet Health. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us. This is a good reminder for, for pet parents here ahead of Thanksgiving. I know, you know, the big one with this holiday, it's a food holiday. So what do you need to be aware of for your pets? Oh gosh, yes, holiday food. That's the biggest culprit in sending pets to the ER on Thanksgiving and shortly after. And that's because we've got all this food around and we want to include our pets. And so uh, people kind of give them little scraps here and there. But unfortunately, little scraps, um, especially turkey, turkey fat, lots of meats, um, they can cause what's pancreatitis in dogs, which can be fatal sometimes. Um, so other than just regular old GI distress, which isn't very good, it can cause something very um, life-threatening as well. So oh gosh. as tempting as it is, we have to uh, make sure that we try to keep those things away from our pets. Wow, I did not know that about, yeah. about turkey. That, that's interesting. Is there a certain amount of turkey that, is there kind of like a limit that's dangerous or just recommend not giving them any? Yeah, I would just follow a general rule of thumb and that's to try to not give your pets any kind of table scraps at all. And that's because we we don't know, you know, each pet is individual and one pet might be able to eat, you know, a couple slices of turkey and be all right and another might eat just a little bit and not be all right. And so our general rule of thumb is just to stay away from that. Yeah. As well as there are some foods that are toxic to dogs as well and cats, like onions, garlic, chocolate you most of you know that um grapes and raisins so it's best to just try to not give them any table scraps mm. yeah i know the the chocolate and, and grapes those are always some real well-known ones but the the raisins the onions garlic right. I mean, that's in a lot of holiday food and I, I mean i didn't know that for example yeah, so good one to keep in mind yeah. i would think um turkey bones too and, and and anything in the garbage you know i i have a I have a dumpster diver of a dog at home. <laughs> he he loves to try and get in that trash can. And so you just have to be careful even when it's not something that you're focused on on the counter. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good idea to keep that all put away, stored away, and maybe that garbage can behind a cabinet or something so the pets can't sneak in there and get it or just off the table. You got to really watch uh -huh. them. I've had to put books on top of the can when, oh, really? when, it's, a, when it's a real tasty trash load. I'm like, you're not getting <laughs> you in here can't today. do it. No, not <sighs> this time. Yeah. Or what are some other uh, ways that maybe we can include our, our pets in on some holiday fun? You know, because I, I know if you're like uh, Emily and Samwise, myself, my, our family dog, you want to include them it's as much as possible. Yeah. Um, so how can you keep the pets a part of the family uh, but keep them safe? Yeah, we don't want them to miss out on the fun. So right. <laughs> um, it, it's a good idea to go ahead and get them pet specific treats, you know, dog treats for your dog or cat treats for your cat. And maybe you can get some that are Thanksgiving themed or holiday themed or something like that to make you feel good about giving them something, but something that's also safe for them. So I'd go out and look for something that's specifically for them and have those handy so that when you're eating there at the table and you're feeling bad, you can just maybe get a dog treat and toss that over instead. Okay. Now for some people, you know, Thanksgiving holiday means traveling. If you're going to go visit some family or friends and it might be for the first time that you're traveling with that pandemic puppy, mm -hmm. you know, what should pet owners keep in mind if they're making some travel plans? Yeah, if you're traveling with your pet, especially by air, but sometimes even by car, it's a good idea to check into what you need as far as documents go. Um, if you're going across state lines, you need an interstate health certificate, which can be obtained by your veterinarian. Um, also, their medical records are a good idea. Do they need some kind of medications? Um, so just checking into things well ahead of time to see exactly what you need and then calling your vet clinic to schedule that appointment in a timely manner. That way you've got everything you need in order to go. If you're going to board your pet while you're gone, um, calling the boarding facility to find out what vaccines they require or what and calling your vet to find out what vaccines are recommended to kind of protect them while you're gone. Yeah, and those are good things to try and do today, you know, this week if you haven't already because uh, things are going to get very busy, you know, the couple days before Thanksgiving next right, week when right. people try to catch up on all that stuff. Important uh, tips to keep in mind for our pet owners. Dr. Carey, thanks so much and have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, right, thank you. Uh-huh, and Wellhaven Pet Health has several clinics across the area. If you do need to check in on anything for your pet before the holidays, head to wellhaven.com for more info. Yeah.